Hey everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, and we're going to be talking about Tuesday's huge Group D Copa America match between Colombia and Brazil from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, home of the 49ers, and home of a match that will decide who will play on as the first place team in Group D or and the second place team in Group D. And I'm taping this before we get a decision on whether the United States is qualified uh, for this knockout stage or whether Uruguay is indeed the number one seed out of the Group C in terms of being the group winner and therefore getting the Colombia-Brazil loser, or if there's a tie, Brazil, uh, or if Panama has snuck in there uh, because the United States has uh, failed to get the result that it needed. So a little to uh, be determined there in terms of uh, what may happen. But the thinking is that Colombia and Brazil are both out to win this match, regardless of who finishes first in Group C, even if the United States pulls the upset and Uruguay is who awaits the Group D champ. Both teams are out to win this match. And Brazil is a minus 120 favorite. A draw pays plus 265, and Colombia is a surprising plus 350 underdog. Uh, not that they're an underdog being the surprise, but that it's so significant. Uh, but Brazil is indeed the prohibited favorite in this matchup. Uh, and it's not surprising that Brazil is favored because they've won 13 out of uh, 23 matches between these teams, and there's been eight draws, and there's only been two Brazilian losses. Uh, and the goal differential between these squads is 33 to 12 in Brazil's favor. But Colombia is in a bit of a renaissance right now under new head coach Nestor Lorenzo. Prior to him taking over, they won three matches in a row. There was two wins from former manager Reynaldo Rueda. Uh, there was a one uh, win scenario against Saudi Arabia with a caretaker involved. And then Lorenzo took over. And in 22 matches, Colombia has been unbeaten. And they've won 10 consecutive matches under his watch. 17 wins and five draws in total. Seven match wins by a, a single goal, but they just blew out Paraguay 3-0, and they've outscored opponents 43-15 to under Lorenzo's watch. And Colombia defeated Brazil 2-1 to in a World Cup qualifier back in November in the only match that Lorenzo has seen the Brazilians uh, as head coach of Colombia. So that match occurred on November 16th in Barranquilla. It was a 2-1 to Colombian win. Both goals scored by Luis Diaz of Liverpool, and he scored them five minutes apart after Brazil had basically commanded the lead from uh, the get-go. They scored uh, less than five minutes in on a Gabriel Martinelli goal, uh, led all the way until the 70s, like third minute, and uh, Diaz scored, and this Diaz scored again inside of five minutes later, sending Barranquilla into uh, just, uh, massive hysteria. Uh, and ultimately, Colombia held on, grabbed all three points. And Brazil, that was the second of three consecutive World Cup qualifying losses for them. And as a global power, uh, that's really unheard of. So it cost the former head coach his job, Dorival Jr., fresh off a win in the Copa do Brasil from Sao Paulo, um, ended up taking over in January, and he has not lost. Now, there has been you know, criticism from Ronaldinho and some other people um, uh, that this Brazilian squad has no heart and doesn't play together. They miss Neymar, who will not be taking part in this tournament, but will be back for World Cup qualifiers later this year. Uh, and so we'll see whether the Brazil that we saw the other day in smashing Paraguay 4-1 uh, is now back and a threat to win this tournament, or if the Brazil that played Costa Rica to a goal of straw in the first match of Group D uh, is who Colombia gets, in which case Colombia is a very live dog. Uh, so again, this match is going to be taking place in Santa Clara at Levi Stadium. Uh, John Lucumi, a defender for Colombia that missed the second match, is working towards trying to get back uh, to the Copa America knockout stage, but will not be part of this matchup. So Carlos Cuesta, who plays in Belgium, or Yeri Mina uh, will be the uh, one of the central defenders for the Colombians in this matchup. Brazil, it looks like Dorival Jr. will make a couple of changes. Lucas Paqueta, who plays in England uh, and missed a penalty kick, but made a penalty kick against Paraguay, 
does not seem to be in uh, Dorval Jr.'s plans for this matchup. So there'll be a shakeup in midfield. Eder Militao, a uh, defender, is also going to be swapped out. So a little bit of a change there for Brazil, who will uh, probably go with Rodrigo and uh, and Vinicius Jr. up front. But uh, there's also a chance that teenager Endrick, who's headed to Chelsea at season's end, uh, pardon me, who's headed to Real Madrid uh, at season's end, is uh, in the mix as a starter. He is the favorite at DraftKings to be the anytime goal scorer at plus 190. Rodrigo is at plus 220. Vinicius Jr. is at plus 230. Uh, he scored a couple of times against Paraguay and obviously did it extremely well uh, in Real Madrid's Champions League run and in their win of La Liga, uh, just a total dominant con conquest of that league uh, earlier this year. So he's having a tremendous moment, could be uh, the Ballon d'Or winner this year. He's at plus 230 to score any time goal, plus 550 to score first or last. Martinelli, who I mentioned earlier, is at plus 260. And uh, Luis Diaz is at plus 400 to uh, score for Colombia. John Cordova is at plus 320. Cordova replaced Rafael Santos Bore in the starting lineup for the Colombians in that and played a great game uh, the other day. Uh, so uh, I would imagine that he is going to be in Nestor Lorenzo's plans. And uh, Santos Bode, who blew a goal late, uh, will come off the bench. So again, Colombia really in dominant form. I think that they're a live dog. But our bet here at Wager Talk TV on this free video is going to be for both teams to score. And that pays out the affirmative at minus 115. If you want to fade me, and uh, fade both teams scoring in this match, that pays out plus minus 110. So it's basically a pick em in this. I expect both teams to score, and I expect a 1-1 draw. Uh, the under is minus 125 and favored. If you want to bet the over, uh, a 2-1 result, a 3-0 result, something like that, that is even money at the moment. So this is going to be a fantastic matchup. I expect both teams to score. Certainly it will factor in who would ultimately be uh, the opponent in the knockout stage. I think both of these teams want to avoid Uruguay, uh, but Brazil has a lot to play for, and Colombia wants to prove that it's, uh, again, a big dog on the block, not to mention continue their unbeaten run. So once again, our play, both teams to score in Colombia, Brazil. Please smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to all our videos here on Way to Talk TV. We'll have you covered for the rest of Copa America, the rest of Euro 2024, the WNBA regular season and playoffs, uh, with all the happenings in MLB. We've got a, a new look home run derby coming up and obviously football and college football when it rolls back around here in the coming months. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro, spelling down there below. Check out uh, all of our package deals at Sports Memo and Wager Talk. You can uh, look at my specific packages at sm.buzz slash TDM and also pick up all of my free plays that I have there on that page. We're also having a great deal to celebrate July 4th here in this first week of the month by uh, offering you seven days of plays for $49, that's seven bucks a day. So be sure to take advantage of that. I thank you for watching this video. I'm Tony Mejia. And again, we're going with Colombia and Brazil to each score in this matchup. Thanks for watching.